Alice. Hello. I haven't seen you in an age. How have you been? I've been very well. You okay. look very nice. Thank you. Gorgeous, in I fact. I matched the carpet and the mug. Well, uh, no, you look better than all that stuff. You look great. And the donkey. That's not a donkey. Yes, it is. <laughs> it's a ho it's a horse it's partially. Not, it's not a horse, though, is it, Craig? No, it's not a real horse. No. <laughs> It's a pretend horse. Donkey face. Just like this is a pretend show. This has all been put together so I could meet you because we're meant to be together. <laughs> <laughs> You're in good. Star Trek now, which means you'll be followed by a lot of people who will say that to you. We were meant to be together, Alice. <laughs> Look, there you are. There it is. Yeah, that's, you're in that's it. That's actually not me, yeah. That's, no, and that, that's not you? No, that's... I thought that was you. <laughs> Are you sure? Oui. Oui, bien sûr. Ah, fantastic. Ce n'est pas moi. Oui. We were a bit worried, Alice, because you've always been such a lovely guest in the show, we were a bit worried that now you've become this enormous international megastar that you would have changed in some way. But I gave you the bell test. Monsieur. And? Ferguson. Yep, you passed. You see, you continue <laughs> to honour the show. The I have to say, that's a very distracting dress. Sorry. It's all right. Actually, the dress is fine. It's, it's, I'm just having a very hard time. Is that a tattoo? Yeah, I've got a, I've got a lot of them, yeah. Do you have any, I've got a lot of tattoos. This goes all the way up round and whoa. You, yeah. <laughs> Go on, follow the snake. <laughs> Go on, Alice, down there, go what on. What are you going to do? As a member of the non-tattooed community, I find tattoos fascinating. Really? Yeah. Are you interested in getting one? No. Really? Why? Why do you hate America? <laughs> <laughs> they, are, they are very uh, closely linked to America. A lot of Americans no. have them. I don't dislike them. I just don't know if I want one on myself. No, you probably... You're, I mean, you're pretty good as you are, I have to be honest. Uh, <laughs> I just would regret it, I think. Well, regret's part of life. I it is, it yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, it's all right. Je ne regret rien. There you go. No. Can I just ask you something? The next yeah. time you want the bell, just ask, I'll bring it over. Don't lean over the desk. Because... <laughs> I'm not... Don't get mad at me. I'm not trying to... I'm just saying that... I think it takes more than that to make me mad. But let's try it again and see if you can sing. Not need, as easy as it, it looks, no. is it? <laughs> Turns out this is a skill. Yeah, you can't have your fingers on it when you press that little bit in the middle. Yes, because the acoustics won't track. Right, the so you have to just pop the button and move. Right. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it got the robot going. Hey, listen, uh, where have you been? What have you been up to? Where have you been this summer? I've been everywhere this summer. I, we, we obviously Star Trek. Um, That's what I was saying. You must have been all around the world. Yes, we it, right? did. We went to Mexico, Russia, Berlin, which was phenomenal. I've never been to Berlin. I'd like to go to Berlin. Have you been? No. You should go. It's I great. know. I, I hear you're fluent in German. We. Oui. <laughs> um, Berlin. Where else did we go? Moscow was intense. It had the worst I've traffic. Been there. In four hours. Some people take four hours to get home from work. Really? In Moscow? Yeah, the traffic is unprecedented. I don't, I don't remember that. I just remember being a cold. It was very cold. And I, got a, and I had a fur hat. You bought one. They sell them on the street. They're sort of common, like sunglasses in Venice Beach. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you, gotta, you must have bought a fur hat, though, surely. No, because fur's dubious, isn't it? It's not real fur! Oh, no, fake fur. No, I wouldn't, I wouldn't buy a real fur hat. I would just ask the animal to politely sit in my head until... <laughs> until such time as it had enough and it could move along. Of its own free will. So you don't wear fur, then? I don't know if animals have free will, do they? I think they do, do don't they? Do we even have free will? Oh, gosh, I knew you were going to take me here. All right, then. <laughs> I think so. I think there is such a thing as free will. But then again, I would think that if I had been predestined to think it, wouldn't I? Right. What do you think? Do you think we have free will? I think within the confines of our existence, we maybe have free will before we eventually die, which is sort of determined. I, I suppose there's moments. I think you, you sounded to me like a Calvinist. Are you a Calvinist? No, I'm not. No, I'm not, because that's very Scottish. Well, Jean Covin was actually French, but... Uh, it, oui, yeah. bien sûr. Well, exactly. <laughs> I'm suspecting your French vocabulary is slightly <laughs> limited. <laughs> Limited. I stopped at 16. Right. Forgive me. I learned. No, I had anything. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, no, not Calvinist. Um, I, I wonder about free will. You know, I, I wonder about it. I don't know. 
I don't know either. Hmm. I mean, sort of... Well, but doesn't that prove in its own way that free will exists if you think about it? Yes, if you think about it, I suppose, if you question it. I mean, we have the choice to make tea in the morning or coffee, and I suppose that's free will. But I think it, it's limited. <laughs> in what way is it limited? <laughs> well, there are certain things you can't determine, can't, aren't there? Well, yeah, there's chance, right. Yeah, but, there's that's, chance. but that's chance. That's not in your will, though. Like, your will, it, it, you, you make choices. It's the, the Kierkegaardian either-or conundrum, right? <laughs> that any decision you make will have a percentage of regret attached to it. Will I get a tattoo? Will I not get a tattoo? Perhaps 80% uh, of the regret of getting a tattoo you would experience, but perhaps 80% of not getting the tattoo is the regret. Do you see where I'm going with this? <laughs> So what tattoo <clears throat> should I get? I don't know if you should get a tattoo. No, I'm, I'm going to just... get one now after that. Well, I don't know. I mean, I just find in my life there are many things that I regret not doing. Not the things that I did do, That's I kind of... I think, oh, well, I, I probably shouldn't have done that, but, ah, what are you going to do? Rarely, and move on, you know. Yeah. Rarely do you regret an action. It's inaction. That you right. Regret. In fact, I think the audience here rused the day when they came to this... <laughs> Have you, ever rude, have you ever rude a day in particular, any day in particular? Not a day that has been something, as you say, part of my free will or, or something that I've had a part in deciding. The days that I rue are the days that, you know, bad things happen that were out of my control. Right, but that's not a, that's not a, a factor in whether there's free will or not. That's the no, universe exactly. and the that's chance the that exists within it. the chance that you're outside of, right. outside of you. So, no, you're right. Free will does exist because otherwise, yes. You're so, right. we, we agree then. <laughs> No, I think, I think you're right. I think we agree that free will exists. I think we agree that free will exists. Well, enjoy the product. Okay. <laughs>